hey, 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 we're training for the Walt Disney World Marathon scheduled for January 2022. This is week eight of our training. It's long run Saturday. We're going to show you a little bit about our run, but today we're going to talk about training plans, what ours is, how we got there. Stick around. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey everybody, uh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe, hit notifications. Remember, we are posting videos every week throughout our marathon training. Uh, and if you like this video, hit like. Uh, we also really enjoy your comments. And because of your comments today, we're going to talk about our training plan. Now, before we begin, I just want to say uh, a training plan is like a recipe, right? You get all of these uh, ingredients that you need to use and follow in order to get to your end result. But like a recipe, you can alter things. So uh, that's what we have done, and this is how. <laughs> so de uh, designing our, our training plans is my department. David's really just along for the ride. Yeah. And loving it. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in a previous video, we talked about um, our little chart, right? So you know that we, if you've seen our other videos, you know that we make a, a like a chore chart, basically. <laughs> That's basically. Um, that has, you know, all of our weeks, all of our days, and we keep it on the refrigerator and we put little stickers for everything. But what we didn't talk about in that previous video was like what exactly we're doing. So um, we're just gonna cover exactly how we ended up at our current training plan because it's not one that we just like cut and paste found somewhere, um, you know, as, as David said, we did alter it some because there were parts of it that we really, really liked and parts that we didn't like. So we just changed it. Um, so what we've done in the past and what we ultimately end up doing again was starting with the um, Jeff Galloway training plans that are posted on um, the Run Disney website. Um, I, I did read some other, like I read Hal Higdon's marathon training book and it was great, lots of great information. Um, and I thought about maybe trying to do some of their, uh, some of his training plans and they were just too like kind of intense. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we went with um, Galloway again. And one of the main reasons that I like those training plans so much is that they're longer. Like I really, really dig a 28 week training plan to get us to marathon. So like we're, we normally in our everyday lives if we're not training for something specific, we're, we probably aren't running every weekend. So I, I think the longer training schedule like really gets us back in the habit of like running more frequently. Um, and it's like, we like to count down to trips so you get to count down for longer. <laughs> it really like, I mean, the race when we started was like six months away, but oh my gosh, we're already like through week one. We're almost there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you ever hear, if you ever hear anybody say, uh, "Yeah, but who's counting?" We, we are. are. Yeah, all we, the time. And, all the time. And if you're interested, here's a look at uh, the Run Disney site with how the the Jeff Galloway training plan is laid out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you you go there. You kind of scroll through. Uh, they have beginner. They have expert, yeah. and well, you can download. Experience. Oh, I'm sorry, experience. experience. Uh, and you, you can download. I so they call it advanced. Uh -huh. eh, whatever. Um, so we went with the. It's technically 29 weeks because for some reason he has you training a week after the marathon. Mm -hmm. We just go ahead and cut that week off. So you want to talk about adjustments? We're not gonna. We're not running that week. Yeah, after. our our. We're gonna be at Disney World. Yeah, we're not running that week. Uh, typically, our week after training is uh, filling ourselves with food and drink After to uh, negate the entire <laughs> training of 29 weeks. Anyway, anyway, go on. Okay, so here's what I do for our training plan. Um, all right, so as you know, we just showed you the Galloway method has you running your long runs on Saturday and then doing like 30 minute runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, we decided that we don't want to be restricted to that Tuesday, Thursday thing. Um, also, we don't want to run two extra times a week. So instead, what we're running is one other time a week. More often than not, that's happening on Wednesday. Um, so that's, that's one change. We just kind of cut out the first half and, um, and focus on running once and doing other stuff. So um, 
you know, we, we're not too prescriptive about it, but we do like to do um, at least one yoga a week, at least one core workout a week. Both of those we're doing on uh, using the Apple Fitness Plus app. Um, uh, Janelle and Sam, respectively, are our favorite trainers yeah. on that program. They're yeah. awesome. Fantastic stuff. Um, so we're trying to do that, and then at the very least, we're uh, if nothing else, we're walking the dog every day. So like that's what we're doing throughout the week is like our kind of cross training and and other stuff. Um, and then we have long run weekend. So this is how the the Galloway method helped, or the the training plan helped. So those mileages that he has for long run Saturday are more or less our run long run Saturdays. So. For the most part, we took those miles and just put them on our training chart um, Saturday after Saturday, with a few exceptions. First of all, we um, not only are counting down right now to Disney World 2022, we are also very, very hopeful that we can still make the trip that we planned for November uh, to go to Disneyland. So as it turns out, that weekend uh, was going to be like a seven mile run, which I suppose we could pull off running around Anaheim. But mm, not. Eh, not, not, easily. not super easily yeah. for an area like outside of Disneyland that we're not super familiar with. Right. So we have adjusted that to a four mile day instead. Um, so I, I have something mapped out for us that should work. Um, so we're just shortening that day, no big deal. Um, another thing, this is, this is the one thing that I really don't like about uh, the Galloway uh, training plans. He has you going up to like 26 miles something like three or four weeks before the, the race. And almost every other training plan that you'll find stops at like 18 or 20 max. So we're not gonna run 26 miles before we go run 26 miles. Um, so basically what I've done, um, I think the last two super long runs are like 23 miles and then 26 miles. And then the, the length before that was like 20. So what I've done is just the, so we're keeping the 20, I changed 23 miles to 21 miles, and I changed 26 miles to 22 miles. And that's gonna be the longest that we're running before our race day. Um, other than that though, it's, it's pretty much the Galloway training plan, just tweaked a little bit mm -hmm. for our liking. Uh, so so um, it's a great template, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the one we used. Mm -hmm. The long run Saturdays are almost the same, we're running uh, once a week, typically on a Wednesday. Uh, but the other thing about the Galloway training plan is it, it really caters to run walk. Right. Um, and we oh, are thank not. You. That was one other thing. Yeah, we are not run walkers. We tried, and and it seems to really really work for a lot of people because run walkers are faster. Constantly passing us. Faster than <laughs> us. Uh, our issue is as much as we tried, we just couldn't restart running uh when when we when it's we so uh, hard for us to start back up again yeah. and we try we even yeah. tried again this time and uh it's it just doesn't work for us so uh if you look at the galloway training and and you see it's run walk uh try it because uh the run walkers man you guys you you, you outpace <laughs> us uh, all the time uh but that just wasn't for us so mm -hmm. uh uh you know as well as altering uh, the number of times uh, we run uh, every week, uh, we are also not following the run walk. Yeah. Uh, and then the final puzzle to the way that we're uh, tracking our training uh, is with our sticker. Yeah. So in that first video where I made the chart and we showed that, um, I was waiting for our stickers to come in. <laughs> I found some on Etsy. Um, and they came in. So we have, uh, for our run days, we have a little running man here. Little running man, pretty cute. Um, for yoga days, we have a little yoga guy. Oops, there we go, a little yoga. Uh, for our core days, we're gonna call that strength. So we have little dumbbells. And um, they didn't have like an easy walking one. So it, it's a hiking, a hiking guy, but you know, it still gets the point across. So, um, so as of right now, we just wrapped up week eight. We have eight solid weeks of, um, yay, we did our work yeah. stickers. And I'm, I'm very proud of us. We've actually run twice a week, every single week. 
Hey, that's a, that's a big accomplishment for us. <laughs> Way to go. So, and, and, it, and it's a very intentional uh, Wednesday run, uh, right? We're, we're trying to do our fart legs. We, we mentioned, uh, you know, the speed. speed run to try and lower our times. And for the most part, those are really, really quick. Uh, it's, it's exceedingly oppressively hot here and has been. So our long run today, we did it, we completed it, and it was slow. It wasn't slower. like snail slow. It was still well within uh, the minimum pace requirements of Run Dizzy. But man, it was just so hot. Uh, you have to you have to respect the heat and know that you're going to run slower. Uh, but uh, that's our training. That's how we do it. Do you want to segue into our run? Yeah. The run go today? Yeah. Uh, it was oppressively <laughs> hot. We sweat a lot. <laughs> oh, the, the run was great. Uh, you know, and again, again, you have to be flexible. So you mapped out an excellent nine mile, <laughs> nine mile path for us at our favorite running park. Oh my gosh. And we went off and here's some footage and here we are and we're going through. We started early. The sun was just above the horizon. The trees are there to offer shade. It was fantastic. And then this happened. First time down this way in a long time. And uh, they're refurbishing the path. Best laid plans. been to that part of our running park since before the pandemic yeah. so it's great that they're fixing it up yeah but it not about a mile and then turn around miles it knocked two miles off our route yeah, right. <laughs> so we had to backtrack <laughs> and rerun stuff and it was like the last is, part too and i'm like oh my the, god the worst <laughs> feeling ever is having to run by your parked car so we had to not do that <laughs> because uh, Come on. Because, I mean, who doesn't just go in the car, drink yeah. some more water, and uh, hightail it? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, so uh, we, you know, be flexible. We had to backtrack and uh, do a few more out yeah. of backs. How was the run for you? It was okay. It was okay. It was warm. Uh, we bought new shoes this week, yeah, so yeah. Um, we uh, got to test those out on a long run. I felt great. Next week, we're going to talk about the fitting process. Uh, we have some awesome, awesome images of our feet and talk about the shoes that we got, why we got them, uh, and uh, they're, they're fantastic. We mm -hmm. feel great in mm -hmm. these new shoes uh, and socks. And uh, you know, it was just a really great experience. Yeah. Uh, but week eight, that was great. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you have some comments or questions about the training, let us know. We really love getting the comments. Um, this is really going well, and we remain, again, very hopeful uh, mm -hmm. that we, uh, we get to uh, run uh, in January with a bunch of you and a bunch of people. It's pretty exciting. Um, you know, again, maybe we'll get to meet. Until then, week eight in the books. 20 weeks to go. Really? Oh, See, this countdown thing is awesome, yeah. right? Who's counting? Only 20 yeah. weeks until we get to go to Disney World. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and, you know, we have some other things. We've got some aches and pains going on. <laughs> and, you know, uh, again, we're posting every week. And also, if you watch till the end of the video, you get to see footage of how we load our awesome stickers on our training plan. <laughs> uh, because uh, sometimes the only way you're going to get a pat on the back is if you give it to yourself. So... Uh, stay strong, be positive, keep working out. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know what races you're signed up for and how that's going. Because it's always an adventure with you. <laughs>